lovely Sagittarians. Welcome to your reading for March 2023. This is a general reading for you Sagittarius. It's a reading for Sagittarius sun rising and moon sign. If you'd like to book a private reading with me you can follow the link below to my website and book a reading from there that will be specific to you. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting on my channel. I really appreciate your support. If you haven't already subscribed and would like to make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell that way you'll know when I'm posting new videos for you. My lovely Sagittarius as I sit and meditate on your energy, I feel like there is, well, wow, there's a really big change coming for you in March. And I'm, I feel like it's a change um, in your personal life, in your work life. It's like it's a big change. New things are coming in here for you. It's as if, you know, you, your, your path has just widened. It's just widening here in, in March. That's how I'm seeing it. You know, you're walking along on this path and all of a sudden it, it, it widens. It encompasses a whole lot of really positive um, changes. Joyous. I really feel joyous. I feel excited. Um, they make My guides are making me feel excited about the changes that are coming in here for you. I want to say to you that it, it's not just change that's going to catch you by surprise. There are things that you've put in place, changes that you've been wanting to make um, so that it's, it's something that um, is is a result of your efforts but March is going to be the month where you're actually going to start seeing those results seeing those changes <clears throat> I like it it's quite exciting I'm going to draw a some, uh, some cards from my shaman's dream deck a couple of cards for you let's see what is in store here for you <clears throat> What do they say? Winter's dream, a gestation period. And I feel like the gestation period is up for you. Um, it's, a it's a time of movement. It's a time of movement. So if you've been coming from this time of gestation, this time of processing, this time of feeling like, oh, you know, what's going on, you know, things that, you know, it's just the same old, same old, that's coming to a close. And what's coming up here, so winter's over, it's, you're moving into spring. Spring's a time of, you know, because you say winter's dream. Winter is a time of hibernation. It's a time of just being. But spring has arrived. Spring is coming in March. And for the, for the Northern Hemisphere, that is very much the case. Um, and so with that, there's new... Um, possibilities, new growth, new expansion. I really like that. Um, there's a lot of um, things coming your way, but they're things that you've been working on. So in that hibernation, you've also been processing. Netcaster is your next one. Preparation come to fruition. Preparations come to fruition. <laughs> there you go. Preparations come to fruition. So the hibernation, the period of hibernation is done. Now it's new growth. Your preparations, what you've been working towards is going to come to fruition. You're going to start seeing results. You're going to start seeing those results in March. And I feel excited. I feel excited about that. What's your spirit animal? Let's have a look at your spirit animal for the month of March. Productivity, fertility. New growth. You've got the hair, the hair cycles. This is a new cycle that's beginning here for you. But, you know, rabbits, hairs are very, very fertile. There's growth. Look at the, her long hair as well. There's growth. There's, there's a cycle of birth and death. And, you know, there's this cycle that's going on. So it's about cycles. It's about new birth, new ideas. So you're beginning a new cycle. There is expansion. There's fertility. There's growth. And, you know, fertility may be the birth of a child. Fertility may be uh, the birth of new ideas or ideas coming to fruition, being birthed. It's all about your preparation, you see. You've got the preparation comes to fruition. 
hibernation time is over. There's going to be, I'm just feeling like come March, things are really going to take off for you. You're going to be very, very busy. There is going to be a lot of change coming in around you, my lovely Sagittarius. For the better. I like it. It's, it's for the better. Good things. Good things coming in around you. Really, I like it a lot. Let's have a look at, I'm creating your Celtic cross here. So let's have a look at what's coming in around you. Yeah, you see there's, there is new opportunities here. There is new opportunities here. Mm. Okay, let's have a look. Put those aside. So what you've got here, new horizons. So there's new horizons, there's something new coming, there's, op there's potential and opportunities that, that have come up for you. For some of you it's already happened or you've put it in motion already um, and it is going to take you to new places to explore, new things to do, new opportunities coming your way. So there's a difference coming here. Um, there's opportunities opening up for you that is taking you to new ventures. It could be a new business, a new job, a promotion, um, a change in your family environment, a new partner, a new relationship, whatever it is for you. On a personal level, on a career level, uh, there's opportunities here. Nothing's staying stagnant. Nothing's staying the same. It's about moving forward in life. Don't allow fear to take hold be brave and move forward but you're going to be feeling very confident you're so ready to take it up take up the challenge take up the challenge and move forward um, with um, new ways of communicating new thoughts new ways of communicating new way of thinking new way of and there's new learning as well that's coming up here for you um, so it, it it's tremendously positive tremendously positive you've also got the nine Knight, Nine of Swords. This is, um, well, not the Nine of Swords, I'm so sorry, the Four of Swords. This is a time of um, rest and relaxation. It's a time of um, also, it's going to be a period of self-reflection. It's going to be a period where you just want to slow things down. Uh, you want to really process. You want to, you know, you, you feel like you want to have a break. Um, it's, it's, so if you're feeling like that, going for walks, um, meditating, uh, going and have a massage, doing some nice things for you, um, just pulling it back, slowing things down a little bit. So the beginning of March, you're going to feel like, oh, yeah, I just want to slow things down a little bit. Let's just, you know, see what's going on. Let's see how, you know, when there's this change, you need to sort of um, pull back a little bit, slow things down a little bit. You've also got the Emperor. So you're very much in control of what's going on around you, the new learning that's going on around you. There is success here. There's success around you. Um, there is... Um, you know, being in a position of power, I suppose I want to say to you, but sitting up on your throne, being, you know, solid, being powerful, uh, have you, getting have people are listening to you. You're sort of, I want to say you're in your element, my lovely Sagittarius. So whatever it is you want to bring in, whatever it is you want to do, what any new, new plans you want to start, anything new you want to do, is going, March is going to be an absolutely fabulous month to do that because you've got the emperor, but then you also have the empress. So there's balance here. Masculine and feminine, there's balance. The, the empress is the birth of a, new, of a child, uh, the birth of new ideas, success in any ventures that you undertake, uh, product, fertility, productivity, um, abundance, um, financial gain, uh, whatever it is that, you, you know, a, a relationship, whatever it is, it's very fertile. That's that hair energy that's coming in here. Very, very fertile. Um, this new cycle that's beginning, but there's so much good coming from it. Gee whiz, there's tremendous positivity, tremendous achievement for you in March. It's a great month. Now, as we move through March, it's interesting you've got the Seven of Swords here, and the Seven of Swords is about, okay, so there's all this change coming in. Whenever there's change coming in, it's also a time of caution. 
Um, it's also a, a time of caution of not... Um, again, I think Libra had this. It's about not being, having self-deception. Don't, don't, because we're masters at deceiving ourselves. We can convince ourselves of anything. Uh, so it's about um, not being self-deceptive, uh, really looking at um, situations as they are, taking them on board, not, not burying yourself in what you believe and, and deceiving yourself. Also, if you're signing any anything, any legal um, contracts, leases, uh, anything like that, make sure you read between the lines. Make sure it really is the way you want it to be, that you're happy with what's going on. If you need to have it looked over legally, then go and do that. Um, don't make decisions hastily. Really read between the lines. I also feel like there could be an external, there's someone coming in that can be quite you know, say things, you need to read between the lines here. You need to be very aware of what's being said. I'm going to draw another card for you as well to see what that is. Okay, so um, I feel like, you know, maybe week three of March. Just be aware, just be careful as to who you listen to. Process, make your own decisions. Make your own choices and decisions. Because you've also got the, this crosses the nine of fire here, the nine of wands. Um, and this is about um, what have you learnt from your past? How are you going to be moving forward? What wisdom have you gained? What, you know, you've got the star energy here, a change in your perception. A change in how you're dealing with things from what you've learnt from the past. So it's about closing that door, leaving the past behind. It could also be that you're closing the door on a job and you're starting a new job. Um, there's some or the change that's coming in. You know, there's an, uh, the old way of being is finished, and there's a new start. A new. This is your cycle. This is your new cycle, which is positive. And in that transition, in that change, make sure that you make the changes that you want to make, not changes that um, other externals want you to do to make. It can also be with work, and that's okay. If you're signing anything, read between the lines. I don't feel like it's a big issue. I don't feel like it's a big issue. It's just, okay, just it's about week three of March, there'll be a little bit aware, that's all. Then you've got the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune is finally turning in your favour. Things are going to start to move forward. Things are going to start to get better. This is the cycle. This is your cycle. Things are starting to get better. Things are falling into place. Things are moving forward. So you, there's this sense of positivity as well that's around you, that's coming up for you in March. Um, things are moving along, growing, expanding. What are you doing? Starting a new business, new job. Life in your, you know, your personal life is expanding. You've also got the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is, if this is a time of not overspending. It's about saving your pennies, but arriving at a place where there is more money. Your finances improve. It's through your efforts, through things that you've put into place that, that you're going to start seeing an ex, a, a growth in your finances. It could also be who's getting, who's getting an inheritance. Something's happening here. There's some sort of increase in finances coming, um, as well as um, it could be, you know, this is this is pentacles. It's abundance. It could be happiness. It could be joy. It could be um, health. It, it could be all of those things, where you live, how you work, where you work, all those practical elements. But there's, there is an improvement. You, you're seeing it coming in to, for you. So there is an expansion. I like that. Really positive. That's really, really positive. <clears throat> You've also got the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is seeing um, new a new. Um, this is again this new beginning. Just 
choices and decisions you've made open opens up a new door for you. Um, there's a new way of being. There's a new way of dealing with, you know, life. Um, there's You're moving from where you are to something better. So there's opportunities that are coming up here for you. Tremendously positive opportunities that actually see you uh, moving forward with great success. <clears throat> You've also got the King of Wands. This is you. So by the end of March, you're really stepping into your own. You're stepping into your own power. You're stepping into your own identity. You're se stepping into yourself. You're becoming more confident, um, more confident, more uh, productive, um, a very good head for business. Uh, this is, you know, a very good head for work, but it's also... Um, how others are perceiving you as well. There's a strength here. What I want to say to you is um, the flip side of that is what they're telling me here is don't be too controlling. Don't be too controlling. It's about you. It's about what you're achieving, um, but also watch that level of um, uh, control. Be a little bit flexible. Be a little bit more flexible um, with what's going on around you. Let me draw another card for you and see what that's what's going on there yeah look, you've got the sun by the end of March life is good life is falling into place there's a lot of positivity there's a lot of joy there's a lot of uplifting there's a lot of happiness here there's a lot of sen a great sense of achievement um, there's nothing standing in your way here anything you want to put in place it's going to be an absolutely great time to do that and that takes you into April my lovely Sagittarius very, you're just <clears throat> really joyous. There's a lot of good things that are coming out of March, I want to say to you. A lot of changes, a lot of good things that are coming out of March that gives you this new lease, new lease in life, new lease in how you see things in yourself. Um, opportunities abound. But I want to say to you that those opportunities, those achievements are born out of your efforts. So the more you've worked towards bringing that change in, the more you've worked in, in, um, in setting new goals and achieving them, the more you're going to reap the more you're going to benefit from it in March. It's going to be an absolutely tremendous month for you. <clears throat> I'm going to draw a card from well, the Divine Abundance. Uh, the Divine Abundance deck. Let's see what is being said for you. Okay, so you've got Divine Flow. <clears throat> Where are my glasses? Here they are. Divine Flow. Eventually, one sublime desire takes precedence over all others to follow the Tao, the divine flow at all costs. And it's about the divine flow. It's about allowing things to just fall into place. The butterfly is about transformation. The lotus is about self-work, meditation, taking it, you know, really considering um, getting rid of distractions, allowing the important things in your life to come to the fore which I really like. The other card you've got is Divine Source. Help me know that all my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that you have a plan and the right actions will come. You are my source for all. And that's to say that destiny is at play here. What's coming to you is what you've, you, what you've worked towards. <clears throat> you will reap what you have sown. Okay. I really like that, my lovely Sagittarians. So have an absolutely tremendous month in March because I feel like there's, it's filled with possibilities and potential. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book a reading from there. Many blessings of love and light to you.